but I think officially it's the start of spring so let's have a look see what's about what do you reckon Nelly So I've had a few emails into the channel. People saying, is it too early to start lure fishing? Yeah. <laughs> you can lure fish for bass uh, in, at this time of year, but the water temperature is not warm enough. So they're not really that active. There's not the bigger bait fish in the water. Personally, I leave it till June, but that's not to say you couldn't catch a bass on a lure in the spring and in the winter. It's just going to be a lot harder. Uh, so I'm trying to conserve my energy for the lure fishing, even though obviously it's something I'm most passionate about in sea angling. The conditions are good, water's really clear here. As we've talked about on the channel before, the place are sight feeders, so it gives us a little bit of extra help. And they should be fattening up now, they've spawned further out at sea. Hopefully hitting this beach here today. Just clip it onto the leg clip and that'll ping off as soon as that lead hits the water. Puts a good bit of distance between the lead and the hook as well, which can be useful. Well, we have a dogfish, small one this. Do put a bit of weight on the line though. You can hold them like that. But the best way, just to, the best way, you don't want to damage them too much. Beautiful little things, tough, rough to the touch there. That classic sharp look, look at that. So we'll put this one back, much maligned by sea anglers. Um, unless you want to win a match or something like that. So things have changed, I think. I mean, we put this other lugworm on here, but normally going back sort of 10, 20 years, I'm sure dogfish would only like the fish baits. You would get them occasionally on lug, but they seem to even prefer it now. So things are changing out at sea, I think. There's maybe not enough fresh fish for the dogfish to scavenge on and they're coming inshore and now taking a preference for lugworm, maybe. But it's the same sort of thing with a smooth hound. I mean, if you look here, we had these smooth hounds uh, back in the summer and the people fishing next to me, were, <laughs> they were getting them on lugworm. And now I know fish like dogfish and the smooth hound will take anything, but it seems to be more of a preference for the lugworm now. So I don't know if that's altogether a good sign. Anyway, let me know what you think. Two fixed spools on today, one with the mono, one with the fluoro. There are some advantages to using mono. It's got a little bit of bend in it, it's a little bit more forgiving in the cast, it's not quite snappy. It's a lovely morning, there's not a soul in sight lead all I'm doing with this lighter weight it's got a three ounce lead I'm just lifting it up and letting the tide bring it round add a bit of movement to these lugs see if we can entice something a nice bow in the line
Right, I'm going to change this rig. This is a three ounce lead and we were sort of dragging that around. But I'm going to put a cascade rig on now. So the pulley rig you've seen before, weight on the bottom. Swivel in the stop, uh, and then in this case, we've got a 3 0 hook on the end, and basically that clips onto the lead. Little inquiries on that nearest rod, taps on there. taps on there that nearest see that looks it I'm doing here just trying to see that difference on that knock on the rod tip it's furthest away from us see what the difference is between species so I'm spending about just five minutes just having a little look around for rubbish and there is quite a bit <laughs> it's something that I think I see anglers are doing more and more now uh, and very often I'll fish with people that bring a bin liner and almost fill it up with rubbish playing our part and the angling trust have formalized this a bit with their new campaign where you can pick up five items of rubbish or just spend five minutes looking for rubbish as part of your fishing session. Baits do give a good old rattle on the rod. They don't pick up the bait and keep swimming, particularly with that five ounce lead. Whereas a dogfish will just sit on the bait. It might be flapping around in the tide, but you've got to think about the sort of bottom you're fishing over, what the tide's like, all of that comes into play. Also, the distance away that the lead is can make a difference to what the bite indication looks like. Close in on braid on a light weight, even a little whiting can look pretty full on. Feels like a dogfish.
thanks very much for watching we caught eight place here in this next video uh, so if you're into your place fishing and you want to see a few being caught uh, we had a good session there so thanks for watching yeah.